wait. Did I just hack the system? Oh my gosh. Okay. This is... I'm so excited. I am so incredibly excited. I found out that this was arriving today and I kind of forgot about it to the point where Fancy was growling and I knew that like something was being delivered and I was like, what, what is happening here? I shouldn't be having a delivery. And then I saw the UPS person throw my package on my driveway and I was appalled because I remembered that it was my new Z30 camera, you guys. So I'm currently actually filming on a Z30. I haven't changed any of the settings yet. This is just like on auto and I can already tell that it is pulling a warmer tone than what I would actually like. The camera battery was also very low. So I figured out that I could just plug it right in. Like I have it like extended and plugged in right here. So we are charging while also recording. But here's my new Z30 camera. When you first open it up, this is what you got. This is your charging cord right here. You have your instruction manual and things right here. I actually had to look at this to figure out how the heck this thing charges because I didn't have to do that when I was in New York. So like just a little explanation for you guys. When I was in New York City with Nikon, they gave us all cameras to use for the weekend, but we obviously couldn't take them home with us because the camera had yet to be released. Like. Obviously, you can't just like have the camera floating around, you know, so once it was launch day They ended up sending me a camera and I'm so excited. So inside here. Okay, this bad guy Oh my Gosh, there is nothing like a fresh new camera and with the renovations that I'm doing I actually saw a comment from someone being like I really want to know how dusty and dirty your camera is and it's filthy It's gross. I really thought about after this renovation getting a new camera and then Look at this. Things are just working out for me. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. <sighs> there is nothing like a new camera. There seriously isn't. It's just like, it's like a little baby, a little baby. It hasn't even been messed with yet. So that's just obviously the body. Over here, we have got the lens. So let me pull this out right here. Open this up get this guy out. This is what it's going to look like. So it's going to come with a cap here. This is standard to all cameras. Comes with a cap on it right here. This is the cap you're going to want to take off to put this together. So can you see right here this little dot and then also this dot right here. So for all lenses you just need to connect the dot. That's how this comes off. You connect the dot, you spin it. So if we take this off right here. You want to do this relatively quickly just because you don't want dust or anything in your camera. So then for this, you connect the two dots. There's a dot on this lens right here and there's a dot right here. You connect those, spin it, and it clicks into place. It does come with a cap on the front here. If you take that off, it is currently in the locked position. So if you just spin it, it comes out and it is no longer locked and you can actually start shooting like this. I don't have a battery or anything in it yet, so I can't. But to close it back up, you just spin it. There's some other cameras that have like a button that you have to push down and then you spin it. This one is very easy, clicks into place, spin it, clicks into place. It's very easy like that. And it's just like, woo, I am so freaking excited. Okay. What else we got in this box? We have got a Nikon camera strap right here and we have got a battery right here. So I'm going to guess that this battery is similar to this battery in terms of it's going to be dead, which is fine. I'm going to flip this out and around so I can see what's going on. This right here is how you turn it on and then it's going to run you through some basic stuff in the back. So language, English, um, London time. I don't know what time. What am I? Am I? Am I, I see, this is the thing. The like universal things. I never remember. Seattle, Phoenix, Houston. Oh, so I'm neg ne negative six. Okay. I should really remember that in the future. Done. Okay. So it's showing this message right now because it's not clicked open. So if I click it open, boom, we're ready to play. We're ready to go. Except for down here, you can see that the battery is red. And also there's this red symbol right here. That means that there's no memory card in it either. So I'm going to charge this bad guy up and I will see you guys back here in a second year time. The girls are currently outside and I need to order myself some freaking lunch. I am hungry and I'm craving sushi. 
and I don't know where I want to get it from. Like I just had that restaurant, so do I go to this restaurant? I haven't had this one in a while. Mainly because the last time I had stuff from there, it messed up my stomach, so I need to just go very, very basic. Let's just go. Do, 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 do. Salmon, avocado, cucumber, and rice. Tuna, cucumber, hand roll, option, add avocado. Cool, 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 okay. Here's the deal, what I wanna do with you guys today, you guys know I have been filming on this camera recently and I'm still trying to figure out the color settings because my house, the way it's set up, like it is so boxy and rooms get far different light than other rooms and especially with a reflection of the grass and like this room it has gray walls compared to the other rooms have white walls but it's so easy for my walls to look green because of how much grass is around my house and the reflection of the sunlight depending on the time of day anyway i have really been messing with this camera over the last couple of weeks trying to figure it out what i like and i want to share the settings that i have set with you guys so if you guys want to set up the exact same settings you can do that if you're just curious how to do a couple of different customizations you can do that so yeah let me wait for fancy's just like laying in the sunshine and poppy is currently just like sniffing the fire pit she really just like wants to be out there with her sister like it is so cute how much she just wants to be around fancy it like melts my heart and fancy's gotten so much better just like being around her at first she like was totally big sister like leave me alone i don't want to hang out with you little sister uh but she's gotten like way better they're like playing all the time and having so much fun and yeah do we think the dogs will be good enough for me to actually film this I'm not sure. I usually don't hang out in here with my little girl. My little girl, do you want to say hi to everyone? Yeah. Oh my gosh, come up here. Oh. And tell them, how's your life going? How do you like it at the Manning household? Are you just happy here? Are you happy as a clam? Where do you want to go? Don't, don't bite my camera. We are still learning that camera gear is like off limits. Uh-uh, uh-uh, no. This is her first time on this couch, and I'm just not realizing the tassels on this are a bad idea. Are you gonna behave? How are you gonna behave for me? Yeah? By the way, I usually, when I'm doing like a sit down video or something, I usually have my light settings. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Set on just like a manual exposure, but today there's clouds in the sky, and I just feel like auto exposure is really gonna work best for me, and I'm also just like being a puppy parent here, so bear with me. So this is. The Nikon straight out of the box like you guys saw me unboxing it here. I have not changed any settings within this and I am going to walk you through like what I would do the initial setup. So very first thing is it's set right now to auto. You can operate your camera like this. Like the camera is going to work just fine. You're going to get like a good quality visual but personal preference I don't love leaving a camera on auto because sometimes it will randomly switch to a yellow tone and then it will go a blue tone and I just want to have a little bit more control and I say that now just because I've been doing this for so long when I was first getting started like auto was just like easy plug and play for me and you can definitely do that with this camera I'm gonna turn this guy on you just spin this right here I'm also going to unlock this so what I'm gonna do we're gonna click the menu button in the back and first let's actually start up at the top okay the playback menu you really don't need to touch this I also did absolutely nothing with the photo shooting menu. For video recording menu in here, you can change the frame size and rate. This can also be found in the I menu, which I will show you in a little bit. For custom settings, you can go in here and like there's so much. There's so much going on and I really don't wanna overwhelm you guys too much. So I'm gonna go down to is the controls right here. So you can customize the I menu. Now, I love customizing this stuff because this is your quick and easy, I'm filming, I'm going, I need to get to one setting super fast. You don't wanna have to go through the menu and like go through all the settings and figure out where it is. So if there's something that you know you're changing all the time, change it within the I menu so you can get to it easily. Custom controls shooting this is what I wanna talk about right here. So when I was in New York with Nikon, one of the first things that I noticed is this spins right here, okay? And the way that I hold my camera, I touch this all the time and my camera would randomly switch into manual focus and I was like, what the heck is going on? I'm not changing any settings, why is this switching to manual focus? And it's because this 
is automatically set up to manual focus. So in the custom control shooting settings here, this ring is what I'm talking about. So MA, I actually switched this to none because I accidentally hit it all the time. If I was to set it to ISO sensitivity or aperture, like I would be just messing with my settings and I do not want that at all. Another thing that I'm extremely passionate about when it comes to the controls and the functionality of a camera is this button right here, okay? It's important to note that I I am currently on the back right here. I'm in the video setting. So if you switch it to photo, back to video, I'm in the video setting here and I specifically want to change what this button does because the camera comes with this button, releases the record, so it starts shooting video, where this takes photos. And I just think it's so much easier. Like this is how I hold and operate my camera. I want this one instead of this one. If we go to the menu, we are actually, previously we were in controls, now we're gonna go down to video because I wanna change the video controls. So hitting custom controls right here, and if we scroll down this one, it says shutter release button, take photos, record videos. So I'm going to specifically change that. You also wanna make sure that the manual focus is off in this area as well. And then if you do want to adjust any of these, again, I think I'm just gonna leave the rest of these the exact same, so I'm not going to touch anything there. And otherwise I really don't have to touch anything in this back area until I'm going to save my settings to a specific user right here. Let me actually get a memory card because I want to show you guys like the quality of the image now without changing any settings compared to when I change a couple of settings. Okay, so just shooting my floor right here, what I see, Poppy's Crate, this umbrella. This looks pretty accurate to me. And then if I flip it around to myself, let it adjust for like a second. Yeah, this is pretty crazy. Looking at like this viewfinder over there compared to this viewfinder over here, I'm like, this is so yellow. And that's just my personal preference as well as the tone of my walls. Like I actually had this conversation with my management team because they thought my walls were like a really, really crisp white. They are an off-white, a very, very slight cream. Like they are not a pure, pure white, but the way I shoot my videos, I try to make it as if they are because that's just like what I prefer. Where this, this does not look like the accurate color of my walls, but it's leaning a little bit closer, but like not. This is just like too yellow for me. And it's just like what's pulling up on the camera right now without changing any settings. So one of the things I actually just remembered that I want to show you guys is when you flip the screen, this, when you flip it like this, okay? What is gonna show up on the front here is going to change because of selfie mode. Personal preference, I want to see all the details. I want to know everything that is going on when I am shooting. And because I am doing a lot of filming where it's just me like this, I want as many functions and things here as possible because let's actually see. Okay, hold on. So you see this right here, all the stuff. If I flip this out, do you now see how little is on this screen? It's personal preference for me. I want all of the details. Fancy is getting mad at Poppy right now. Okay, who just got hurt? These children, I swear. We just had to take a brief intermission because the girls were playing and they were like hitting my tripod and honestly, like life of an owner of two dogs, like this is just so different for me, fancy. In the beginning, like if you guys have been following me for a long, long time, in the beginning, fancy was not great when I was filming because when I was talking, she would think that I was talking to her and that I wanted her attention. And then she would like come around and get really excited or bring me a toy or something. And she had to learn that like, I wasn't talking to her. So now that I have like both dogs, I mean, especially like Poppy, she's just like full of energy and wants to play and she's not used to like this life. And I'm glad that my videos now are mainly vlogs because I don't really know how I would do it with her, like I would just have to film during nap time. Anyway, what I wanted to share with you guys is the short self portrait mode and how the heck you can turn it off. So I actually had to like really dig in the settings to remember where the heck it is. But over on the left hand side, the wrench icon, okay, you're gonna have to scroll down a little bit, but there is self portrait mode. That's what you wanna look for. So if I click on self portrait mode, I am going to disable it. I do wanna talk to you guys about the I menu and changing the picture quality going from that like more so yellowish tone 
to a tone that I would appreciate in my videos and like what I strive for in my videos. So the very first thing here, because I didn't customize any of this, it's set picture control, white balance is right below it. So these two are the main ones that I mess with. Let's set picture control. So this is automatically set to auto. Preference for me, okay, when I was in New York and I was talking with like the production team, they, or at least one person, didn't really like shooting in standard but standard is always my favorite and I'm not sure why, but it is my favorite to shoot with. So I'm just gonna move over to standard and I'm going to hit the down arrow. Do you see like the adjust and it shows like the down arrow? So I'm gonna hit the down arrow. When it comes to sharpening, I'm actually gonna drop this down to two. I'm gonna leave the mid-range sharpening to two. I'm gonna actually drop down the clarity to zero. If you guys have done any like photo editing, some of these things might make more sense to you. Clarity, one of the things it does is it increases the contrast. And in my videos, sometimes I don't mind a lot of contrast, but I don't want over contrast. And I'm actually gonna leave contrast the exact same as it is, brightness the exact same. For saturation, I'm gonna up it one. And then if you scroll down one more, this is the hue. I'm actually not gonna touch this at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click okay. If you guys click on this to try to get out of it, it's not going to save the settings. You absolutely have to click okay. That's something that I did a lot <laughs> in the beginning is thinking that it would save and it wouldn't save. Just by changing the picture quality, okay? This is what we got going on. Even though I did drop down like the sharpness of it, like there's still so much detail, but I think this looks a little bit better. Like you can see like the detail on the pimple on my nose, like all of the little like imperfections and stuff on my face, like the quality here is what I really, really enjoy from this camera. Like I just feel like it does such a great job with not only low light, like it's not like super, super bright in here right now, but also the quality, like it's kind of terrifying the details that I can see in my face. Like no one should be that close to my face. No one should be that close to my face. But even just looking at this, it's still yellow toned, far more than what I prefer in a video. So we're gonna adjust the white balance right here. Automatically, it's set up to auto, and if you wanna leave it at auto, that's fine. You can leave it at auto, but what I prefer is scrolling over. This is choose your color temperature, and if you have any smart light bulbs and you custom chose the color temperature in the light bulb, you will understand what this is talking about. This is automatically going to be set to 5,000, but what I wanna change it to is about 4,500. This is what I prefer for natural light. For a while I was operating at like 4700, but I realized that wasn't as accurate. I think 4500 does the best in my house specifically, but this is all going to change based off of where you're at. I'm not going to touch this one at all, but I am going to go over here to change it from the green tone to the pink tone. Why, Catherine? Why? because of my house and where I'm filming. You might not need to do this in your space, and what I recommend is take like a ton of test shots in your space and figure out what settings really, really work best for you, but for me, with my green, green grass, it just reflects so much in here, and I actually need to drop it down a little bit to the pink. So I, in this setting, I'm just gonna look to see like what actually makes my whites look white, and I'm gonna hit okay to set the settings, and then if we take a look, I really wish a cloud would go away because I feel like this is not accurate. So give me about like a minute or so, and let's see if this cloud goes away so we can see like what this really looks like. I really, I tried to wait for the sun to come back out, but it is just not coming out. But can you see like compared to before, compared to now? Pretty big difference. If I actually step outside, I feel like even standing here, it's probably better. <laughs> And what it is inside, it like looks so bright and sunny. Nope, the cloud's coming again. One of the last things I do want to show you guys is how you can actually save these settings because if you just changed all those settings then you shut off your camera, nothing is saved. It's all wiped clear, so let's let's talk about that. Back in the menu over at the wrench, there's format memory card. Right below it is save user settings. If you click on that, you can save to user one, user two, user three. I'm gonna click save user one, save settings, and boom, it's done. So whenever I turn off my camera and I turn it on again, the settings are going to be the exact same. If you change any settings in the future, it's going to reset every time you turn it off. So you want to make sure that you are always saving your settings to whatever one you want it to go with. What I would recommend doing is have you one be for like all your indoor settings. And then you two, if you make different changes and adjustments for like outdoor, set it to you two. And then you three have it for like nighttime settings and like different lights. It all depends like when you're filming and like 
the lighting scenario that you have going on. For me, it's primarily just natural daylight or it is uh, like fluorescent lights at night and like I go in and I change the K, the temperature, color temperature, and I make my adjustments that way so that I get the best quality visual. But thank you Nikon for not only like wanting to work with me on this partnership for sponsoring this video, but for also just like allowing me to play around with this camera. Like such a cool, incredible opportunity that I got to have like my hands on this camera before anyone else before it was launched. Like it's just insane and I'm learning so much and I learned so much through them in New York with their team. Like just even on like the settings and like how to operate the camera, because at first like I didn't know how how to change this and someone had to show me how to do that and I am just like so incredibly grateful. So if you guys want this camera, I'm going to include a link to it down below. It's actually included in all of the description boxes for all of my videos going forward, but you guys can definitely check it out down below and I will see you guys back here in another one for more of a normal vlog. Bye guys.